In what ways has PayPal advanced cryptocurrency? Well, when PayPal began facilitating the purchase and acceptance of Bitcoin by its customers in the United States and the United Kingdom, it became one of the most publicized examples of a major financial institution endorsing cryptocurrencies. This factored into Bitcoin's historic November price surge. Here's all we know thus far. To begin, let's take a look at how PayPal is committed to experimenting with cryptocurrency. PayPal became one of the most visible examples of a major financial financial institution endorsing cryptocurrencies when it allowed customers in the United States and the United Kingdom to buy Bitcoin or accept it for payment, helping to boost Bitcoin to a record high last November. However, the global crypto market has lost 2 trillion US dollars, 2.9 trillion in value since then, and many Bitcoin investors have been badly burned. Nonetheless, PayPal remains strongly dedicated to cryptocurrency. There is great interest in up and down movements on any given day, says Edwin Aoki, PayPal's chief technical officer officer for blockchain, crypto, and digital currencies on a visit to Sydney from his home in California. While some users speculate on its day-to-day -day volatility, the payment giant plans to increase consumer education. It considers how to enable the use of stable coins for payments on its network. However, it believes that the real play in the contentious space is the enhancement of financial infrastructure. Moving on, Aoki's argument on crypto innovation. Mr. Aoki argues it's still very early for the technology that was born just a dozen years ago. Despite this speculative frenzy ebbing away. The price of Bitcoin is down 50% over the past six months, including a 15% loss over the previous fortnight. He is skeptical at first, but believes it has the potential to bring about changes, such as programmable money and atomic settlement, which would enable the instantaneous and simultaneous transfer of ownership and payment for assets. To solve issues with efficiency, speed, and transparency in the financial system, we firmly believe digital currencies will largely represent the next generation of instruments, he argues. To go to the next level, we need a new set of foundations, and digital currencies and other digital assets are beginning to build. We believe there is a wealth of possibilities available. After that, what do we know about Biden's working group? The Australian government said last week that the Treasury would continue with the study to describe the operation and utility of various cryptocurrency tokens, as it examines other laws and improved consumer safeguards. It was an example of balancing innovation and user protection, which the U.S. government under President Joe Biden is likewise doing, according to Mr. Aoki. President Biden's executive order on cryptocurrency, signed in March, was a watershed moment, according to Mr. Aoki. This is because it advocated for a whole-of-government approach that has catalyzed a richer set of discussions as the U.S. seeks to attract innovative Web3 businesses while minimizing scams and fraud. There is always a balance to be struck between ensuring proper controls exist to avoid misuse and the worst excesses from taking root, but at the same time, we see lots of scope for responsible innovation to emerge in the field, he adds. If you can construct the correct guardrails while allowing innovation to flourish, that is the balance regulators in the United States and most other places are attempting to find. Over the last six months, there has been a subtle shift in the U.S. towards a pro-innovation stance, which says this industry, these tools, and technologies exist. Thus, opportunities and positives could come out of this. And now let's make sure we have the right structures to minimize the risks and negatives. Following that, Ethereum fusion. Mr. Aoki, like others in the crypto world, is anticipating the merge of the Ethereum blockchain, which is scheduled in mid-September and would significantly cut its energy usage, allowing it to handle larger quantities. For this sector to become mainstream, it must solve concerns of scale, cost, and environmental effect, he adds. It is heartening to see the Ethereum community begin to face these challenges hard on and try to bring the protocol to the point that offers notable gains in all those areas. Assuming they are effective and testing has been successful, it positions the Ethereum network to be a serious contender in the next generation of activity in this field. On decentralized finance, DeFi, which allows traditional banking functions such as borrowing and lending to take place on blockchains such as Ethereum, he says there is a clear need for consumer education. While the need for yield farming, staking crypto to earn yield, may have waned in the higher interest rate movement, if you come back to access, a system that works with the people has a lot of value, perhaps not in its current shape, but DeFi will undoubtedly continue to expand. We will see new and imaginative uses as a result, Mr. Aoki predicts. One of the fascinating aspects is the programmability of tokens. We've only scratched the surface of what smart contracts and programmability can do. This will lead to some extremely fascinating
preventing future advancements. Next up, push for consumer protection. PayPal has not expanded Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency product to Australia. Commonwealth Bank is still working with the Australian Securities and Investments Commission to identify proper disclosures and which consumers can supply cryptocurrency. Mr. Aoki says in the US and UK, it is part of our duty to educate people on this arena with the rest of the industry because PayPal, which is regulated as a bank in Australia, lets CBA do the heavy lifting with local authorities. According to the new PayPal e-commerce index, 10% of Australians own cryptocurrency and 20% want to learn more about them and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. In addition, 26% believe cryptocurrencies and NFTs should be regulated to protect consumers from harm, and 32% are concerned about the safety and security of trading cryptocurrencies. There was a lot of education that had to happen to make customers comfortable, he says of the company's 20-year experience in online payments. That entire mindset underpins every arena we move into. Education, a fantastic experience, and consumer protection are some reasons customers trust PayPal over digital currency exchanges and other organizations. Meanwhile, PayPal is keeping a close eye on developments in central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, and stablecoins. The digital assets whose value is pegged to a fiat currency and RBA governor Phil Lowe believe should be regulated similarly to bank deposits. Following that, MicroStrategy labels Washington, D.C. tax fraud lawsuit is deemed false, and the company vows to fight back aggressively. The District of Columbia Attorney General has publicly declared that his agency would file a tax fraud action against the IT business MicroStrategy and its former CEO, Bitcoin BTC. The company, though, termed the case false and promised to fight strongly against what is called an overreach. MicroStrategy owns a large portion of their balance sheet in BTC and has become a model for corporate BTC investing. Meanwhile, Sailor has emerged as one of social media's most outspoken BTC supporters. He just stepped down as CEO and is now chairman of the company. However, in a series of tweets, Washington, D.C. Attorney General AG Carl A. Racine stated that the Capitol would be suing both Sailor and MicroStrategy for tax fraud, accusing Sailor of evading over $25 million in D.C. taxes by claiming he was not a resident of the Capitol. Instead, the AG claims that Sailor and MicroStrategy stated that the ex-CEO lived in Florida or Virginia. Both states have lower tax rates. He went on to say that the AG's office was also suing MicroStrategy for conspiring to assist Sailor in evading taxes he legitimately owes on hundreds of millions of dollars made while residing in D.C. According to the AG, Sailor lived in a luxurious Georgetown district condominium and had multiple yachts docked on the Potomac River in Washington, D.C. The AG believes Sailor has lived in D.C. from 2005 until the present, but Sailor remained unfazed, denying the charges and stating his plan to fight them in court. Finally, the United States moves towards accounting clarity for Bitcoin and Ethereum, setting aside NFTs and stablecoins for later. The U.S. Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB, has announced which assets it will include in its crypto rulemaking effort to provide clear accounting standards for digital assets, keeping NFTs and some stablecoins out of its purview. After years of being pressed by businesses and investors to take a stance on how to account for cryptocurrency holdings, the organization placed the crypto project on its rulemaking priority plan in May. The FASB also revealed which assets will be covered by a new regulation on Wednesday, according to the Wall Street Journal. While the initiative will cover the prominent crypto assets such as Bitcoin, BTC, and Ethereum, ETH, accounting for NFTs and some unspecified stablecoins is expected to cause complications for organizations that have invested in such assets. Such investments have been primarily accounted for as indefinite lived intangible assets, similar to website domains and trademarks, using the Association of International Certified Professional Accountants Non-Binding Guidelines AICPA. According to a FASB spokesperson, the group hopes to finish its early discussions on the crypto project by the end of this year, when the industry body's board might vote on whether to publish a recommendation. Susan Cosper, a FASB board member, justified the decision to remove NFTs from the project, claiming they would slow it down. It's not pervasive or material at this point, she says, and it's certainly something we can focus on later if necessary. Well, that marks the end of our video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.